Hey everyone, welcome back for more Exo Series content. Today's video, we're going to discuss the things not to do for 2021. But before that, if you want updated Exo Series content, please hit the subscribe button down below. Hey guys, we'll start off with do not level up your heroes which have the wrong Guardian Stone color. So this was actually a mistake that I did way back when I, you know, I leveled up Chatty and enhanced her uh, way before I had to choose the right color. So for for Chatty, you have uh, she has to have the red Guardian Stone for her to be awakened. So because of this mistake, I have to, you know, if I want to change the color yellow, I would have to spend Zess for just for just that to happen okay the next also is before you equip your faded gear in any of your heroes also please make sure that they're of the right color this is also a mistake that i did uh, because i equipped her with different kinds of colors what i need for chatty is red as well so i have here purple green and i have to spend gold for this one so these are the most common mistakes players make uh, when leveling up and when equipping their their characters. You can actually level up your 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 equipment even if they're they're not being equipped, even if they're in your inventory. So it's okay. Okay. The next would be once you have awakened your heroes. Let's say, for example, for Shell. So for Shell. I already have awakened her, but if you unawaken her, you'll be spending 500 zest. Just, just that's only just one. But when you unawaken her, you won't be getting back the equipment that you consume to awaken her. So that's actually a bummer because you, you've spent a lot of a lot of resources actually just to awaken her, and now you have to unawaken her. So. Please be sure that when you awaken a hero, they already have the correct set effect that you need for them. Okay. And also for generals, the next would be for generals. If you want to, if you want to transcend generals, make sure first that you have leveled up their signature force before you transcend them. Here for Dorka, I already have two transcendence because I already um, leveled up my signature force. So let's go to signature force first. I'd like to show you that. So here for Brun, I'm already at level one. Sorry, I'm already at level two. But if you really want to transcend your generals, you have to transcend actually one for Dorka, for signature force, only one, then the third copy would be used here and consumed here so once you're you're done with this one the first level of signature force it's either you go towards using another copy here or you proceed with with the transcendence of dorka the important um actually role of transcending dorka is that the higher number of transcendence that you have here the the um, the number that you will also be unlocking elemental enhancement so already i've already unlocked elemental enhancement for her for three w once i get this to plus three then that i can already enhance this to plus four so for annie um one or for all heroes the trick for them to be more powerful is to enhance them but when you're enhancing them this actually expands uh mu and you have to expend gold the problem with enhancement is if you reach a certain level or if you go uh, up to the higher levels it's already a 10 percent chance for the next enhancement to happen that is why if you don't if you don't use your heroes or if for example i'll, I'll give you another example here for a hero that i don't use that well so let's say for 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 garf oh, sorry for Ulum. If you take a look at her enhancement, so if you enhance her right now, it's actually at 45% enhancement. So if you don't use that here that much, try to reach at least, you know, at, at most five. Then from there, try to stop already because once you, once again, once you enhance them continuously, 
um, the levels actually the higher level of enhancement of their fate core um, the level drops again so if you if you saw earlier at level 11 the, the, the percentage chance goes down to 10 percent so it's very expensive actually to to go on enhancement on heroes that you rarely use I've already discussed this with you in my ultimate guide for 2021 but just to include it here do not try to summon for the string of creation especially if you are a beginner um, this will actually drain your cess and this will give you smaller chances of acquiring other fate cores aside from the string itself so this i would not recommend but if you want to see that ultimate guide for 2021 i'll post the link uh, up here so next would be um i would not actually recommend you guys use the airship forge okay because the airship forge is actually just um kind kind of kind of a i won't say it's useless but it drains your zest uh, without you get without you getting that much value for for what you're getting um because because if you're going to summon for something summon for your fate course uh, rather than exclusive weapons or any other weapons here that are available in in the in the airship forge this it actually would just drain your zest for you and would and you would end up hating yourself for doing this one okay and also there are some actually there are some things in the door of creation that you have to consider not to do okay so for the door of creation you actually don't use this one this is your dimension recruit because you're using clocks for this one you only use clocks for dimension recruit nation recruit tickets so you only use clocks here do not use this one and also for this one the um, the recruit hero do not use your solar seals here because you will need your solar seals in unleash potential of your heroes especially if they are not fated heroes they're legendary in below you will definitely need your solar seals for unleash potential and also, while we're here in the stream of creation, um, I would actually recommend that if you need more gold, you use this one. Um, the, 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 you, this is actually crafting. I'll, I'll show you an example. This is actually crafting. Crafting. Um, uh, what do you call this? Items that you can exchange here in your inventory for for gold okay the, the the do not do here is when you're for example when you have the option of of selling your ancient tokens here directly because this conversion actually gives you a very small amount of gold do not use this you use the other one that i that i that i taught you so do not use this function do not sell your your ancient tokens here in the inventory go straight again to your door creation and use uh, this one instead craft then convert them into gold also one other thing for the scout system um this actually requires you to consume um copies of heroes the only reason why you use your heroes here if you already have a copy that has been transcended because the extra copies you won't actually be using let's say for example uh for this guy so if you already have have if already have a copy that has been transcended uh plus five you can actually use copies of him here already so for this guy so you can scout because once you do the scout system they will be consumed so that is my tip for the scout system even for legendary even for faded heroes make sure that 
your original copy is already transcended and these are already extra copies of them the other tip that i have for you guys is in terms of using your holy water of the universe you'll be using them here in your in your blessing of heroes and also in awakening them okay so my tip for you is that do not use this um just you know just just by just, just because you want to to six star a character because when you want especially if you're an, a, a beginner you'll be struggling to find um holy water universe so try to use this only on heroes that you have that you will be using frequently that you need to and that you'll be um, using in the content especially so if you don't need to six star or if you don't need to bless if you don't need to to awaken don't use your holy water of universe for these characters so my last tip for you guys is in the coliseum so the first purchase for the coliseum to enter is free but for the second one do not purchase this one because this is actually a trap and you usually ending up not getting back the zest that you spent here so only for the coliseum only spend the free pass and do not anymore spend for zest for this one so that's all for me guys um these are the the don'ts don't do's for 2021 so if you have any questions or any comments write them down below also if you are planning to join a chat group please try to join our chat in discord or in facebook groups they are in the description below anyway that's it for me guys hope to see you soon this is the warden take care and i'm out